Okay, part two of Zenith's Adventure. So when we last left our intrepid hero, she was working at the food farm, and I believe we were catching mammals. I believe we were catching mammals. Game loaded from slot two. So, oh, that's right, that's right. We got a lot of money. We got a lot of money from our, our mammalian capture adventure. So let's go spend some of that. Zero being weird. No, Zero is being helpful. Zero is being helpful. I just always give him crap when he's being helpful and pretending like I'm confused by what he's doing. I'm not sure if that's cute or not. I just do it anyway. Uh-oh. Hey, wait up. Don't just keep my dad waiting just like that. Oh, that's right. I have to go talk to her daddy. I forgot. This is what happens when you don't uh, beat the game in one session. Although I found out afterwards, there's no way I could have done this in one session. I looked after stream yesterday, and apparently it takes uh, roughly 11 to 15 hours to beat this game. So hopefully we'll beat it today. I don't know, though. We'll find out. It's busy, seems to be struggling with threading the needle. Why not use a thinner thread? That's my uh, sewing superpower, actually, is I can thread needles. I just miss my coffee mug was back in college days. Big flat bottom travel mug. Set it down the roof of the car. Oh, no! Stayed on the roof for 20 minutes? That's impressive, Argon. That's impressive. I, I have then got launched when I parked. Well, of course, because of the inertia. Yeah, inertia would definitely do that. Oh, yeah, I have, I've never done that. I had a, a can of soda on top of my car once that I did that to. It did not last that long, though. Why is she trying to thread a needle with such a thick thread? This is just painful to watch. Because she's a fursuit maker, that's why. Because she's a fursuit maker. Uh, let's talk to this one. Probably won't happen. Oh, I actually can. Ignore. Incredible. He's still half asleep. Hey, you're with me, old man. Hey. Uh, what? Who? Oh, the newcomer. That's right. Miss Zinf, I presume. Welcome. I'm glad to meet you in person. Yeah, I got that right. And hey, Mr. Tra's father. Say, you did a pretty good job in the forest for a beginner. That's what I love about our young helpers. Full of optimism and energy. A beginner. Right. Also, apologies for such an underwhelming welcome. Please, but please understand... I've been up all night to coordinate the work and help our workers. That's a magnetic bottom travel mug. I bet you someone has Threadbare. I bet you someone has. I mean, I know I have, um, I have special coffee mugs that I can use with the mug warmer I have on the desk. Which, I haven't actually used those in a while because I've been having fresh coffee lately, but I should start using those now it's winter again. Hey, welcome on in, Arctic. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? I guess I probably could dump my coffee into one of those mugs and uh, turn on the mug warmer to keep it warm. But I don't think my coffee is going to last that long. Alright, why was I up all night? Wow, managing the farm sure sounds like hard work. Up all night, huh? Why is that so? Not going to lie, it sure is. We had a special request from the chief to gather many more mushrooms than we normally do. And not some ordinary mushrooms, mind you, but Fungilius' local specialty. Ooh. More? But why? What's he planning to do with them? The village is closed anyway. I don't really know the exact cause, but I wouldn't question his orders, you know? He's a brilliant leader. Oh, I'm absolutely sure he knows what he's doing. Hmm, maybe you all started eating too much out of all that stress? Who is that girl over there? So, Tra is your daughter, right? Who is this fine lady, then? Yes, Tra does a wonderful job helping me around the farm. Without her, I wouldn't be able to do nearly as much. And that's my second daughter. Unfortunately, she's lacking all of her sister's skills and talents. 
To be brutally honest, she's both ignorant and all thumbs. Wow. Harsh. <laughs> well, isn't that a pleasant combination? I know. Just look at this. I asked her to sew these pillows and get them ready for tomorrow morning, and she doesn't even know how to thread a needle. Hmm. With that thick thread, I don't see it happening anytime soon, boss. See? That's what I meant. She's too stubborn to use a thinner one, and you won't convince her otherwise. Hmm. Alright, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, let's get back on track, because we have to beat this game. Alright, what else are you doing at the farm? So, what else are you doing around here besides sleeping? I was hoping you'd ask this question. You see, I love collecting and identifying various stones in my spare time. Believe it or not, but I have an impressive collection of varied minerals upstairs. And thank you for that, host Avian. Thank you, thank you. I actually can, and you were hoping for... You made your way to the village through the tunnels of Undercave, correct? Yep. Do you remember the path you traversed? I do, kinda. On with the show, what exactly do you need? Ahem, alright. Did you notice a white pine cone shaped and rather heavy rock during your unplanned cave expedition? I sure did, and guess what? I even have it in my backpack right here, right now. That's wonderful! Can I please have it? I've been dying to get one in my collection for a while now. So he's a geologist. Your thing, it's too heavy for my taste anyway. It's all yours. Thank you. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. Thanks to you. I'm one step closer to finish my collection. So apparently this guy is now Keanu Reeves because we're breathtaking. <laughs> oh, we all went there. We all went there. Uh, I only go through my cup fast enough for it not to go cold, so I'm not otherwise occupied. Running your game. Well, yeah, yeah. And same thing with Argon. It usually takes me about an hour to drink a coffee, depending on how hot it is. A little bit longer when Zero Wolf makes it, because our Yetis keep them really hot. Oh, thank you, Keanu Reeves, Burb. Here. Why don't you take this little shiny pebble as a token of my gratitude? Beauty. A shiny pebble? Wow, that's excellent. With pleasure. Is there any other job to do around here? Is there any other to do around here? For worthy income, that is. And don't tell me there's some more of those fur balls to catch. There's always plenty of them to catch. <laughs> but no, honestly, I can't really think of any kind of task right now. My mind is still a bit hazy from that sleepless night. Tell you what, why don't you go ask Tra? She's rather busy nowadays, so I'm more than certain she'll find some kind of paid work for you to do. Oh, alright. Sure thing. I believe I should be going. Of course, it's been a pleasure talking with you, Ziv. Goodbye and take care. Alright, well... Seven... We're soon to have eight, so we'll find out what that next uh, thingy is. Sack with feathers. Let's look at sack with feathers. Why do you need so many feathers and these feathers are these anyway? Probably their feathers. Eight sack with feathers. Dear me, they're so dusty. Nah, don't need them. Alright, so we can't go upstairs. Even though, yeah, I can't do that. So, yeah. And hello, hello to you, Avian. How are you doing today? Welcome to a part two of our dinosaur point and click adventures. W and Polish is FF, and the special L character they have is W. Yeah, I'm I'm sure I'm pronouncing the name wrong. I'm sure that I'm pronouncing the name wrong, but I think I'm close. Sniff. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Sniff. At least I hope I am. Oh, gotcha, Avian. Gotcha. Oh, well, thank you for that, Comrade Wolf, and welcome on in. How are you doing today? 
How are you doing? We are currently dinosaur. We are currently dinosaur. A very rich dinosaur, I might add. Part Slavic? Okay. That makes sense. I mean, like I said, I'm probably horribly mispronouncing these things. But I also can't say dinosaur names properly. Because I am over the age of eight. And unless you're a paleontologist or a paleobotanist, you can't pronounce dinosaur names anymore. At least I can. Those puzzles really make you work. Yeah, I, I, I looked at uh, Thomas was here. Or excuse me, Thomas was alone. And it does look like a really good game. Ooh, new backpack. All right, well, let's buy that commercial pebble. Because that will give us eight pebbles. Because I have the money. Oh, yeah, the sparkly stone is totally... And yes, I do have trouble. I have trouble speaking English. A new bonus has unlocked! What did we get? What did we get? Sound test. <laughs> choose the music oh neat watch a polka interesting fungilia day makes me think that there's going to be a fungilia night theme pebble defense oh okay Interesting, they had different music for the beta. That's cool. That's cool. Not as much fun as the, the mini game, though. <laughs> Welcome on in, Gindle Snowtail. Welcome on in. And yes, I will stretch and hydrate. Oh. And also, welcome on in, Lutheran the Fox. Welcome on in, welcome on in. How are we all doing? Let's look at these unusually glowing mushrooms. Well, the other cable is full of these strange glowing mushrooms, so these aren't that special to you anymore. Okay. Um, what about these? I'm still not convinced that these weird glowing mushrooms are safe to carry around. All right, so what about these backpacks? Backpack is the cutest thing you've ever seen. You want it here, you want it now. Okay. Take backpack. How much is backpack? Wow, nice. How much is this big backpack? What? Ah, I see you have quite a taste in backpacks. It can be yours for just 400 shells. Interested? That's too expensive. Well, that's a bit too much for me. Oh dear, here we go again. Huh. So, alright. I'm really tempted to, like, go earn 400 shells to buy that backpack. But do we really need it is the question. I don't want it. Alright, well, let's look at the story so far and see if it gives us any hints. I have 120. I have 120, Roy. Story so far. Having earned some money, Zinif can now safely resume her village exploration and maybe even find a way out of this place. If she ever need any money, Tra assured Zinif that there's already... <laughs> But she's ready to find more work for her heroine. But we could. Oh, no worries, Pinky. No worries. Goes nowhere near Roy's garden. <laughs> well, these ears are made for gnawing. I certainly have inches to spare on my ears. Um, I don't know what to do. After gonna grind for that, we might. I mean, I kind of want to get that backpack. Possibly. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Well, I guess we can go up to st and talk to Tra. I mean, it didn't take us that much time to earn it the first time. Yeah, we got 120 shells. So, I think it should be too hard to earn more. Let's find out. I mean, we got our shiny stone. 
Um, Western District. So I know we have to find... Sorry, I'm trying to remember all the stuff that they... They did a big info dump on us yesterday. And I'm trying to remember all the different things we need to do. Because I know... Hi, Yuki. No, I'm not going to come check on Zero with you. So she's waiting for the water guy. Yeah. So we need to find the water delivery guy. We already did all this text yesterday. So what, what is our list of things? We've got to find the water delivery guy. We've got to find the healer. And we need to find an exit out of this place. So let's see if there's any hints on where the healer is. Yuki, you are being a... Oh, hi. Well, that was easy. Female Cagnolis currently peeling some kind of a fruit. Probably red fruit. I will talk to you. Give me medicine for the traitor. Ah, oh, well, well, well. Isn't that our dashing heroine who survived the cold wars of Rinna, navigated through the ordeal known as the Undercave, and ended up in a remote village under a hollow mountain? How do you know all of this? Eh. You really made yourself a name in the village already. You know that, youngster? He's cute. Yeah, I know. I kind of wish I didn't. Nice place you got. Yeah, nice little uh, workshop you have here. Professional and yet really cozy. You think so? Thanks. As a village healer, I need to have everything organized in a rather snazzy fashion. Since I like to do some alchemy and herbalism in my spare time, I draw in a sea of different herbs and weird thingamajigs without some proper organization. So, you're the kind of dinosaur that can turn a potentially useless herb into a miracle cure? Huh. If that's the extent of my knowledge, then yeah. Just give me a shout when you need anything. Huh. And, uh, a common cold. Would that be a problem? Not even a sweat. But I'd need some herbs, as I'm currently out of all my cold remedies. Find secret unlock volumes. Oh, it totally was, Roy. Totally was. And welcome on in, Batman. Welcome on in. And also, welcome on in, Saint Fobertor. Fobertor? Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Welcome on in. A perodactyl. Oh, that's good. What do you call a pair of dinosaurs? A perodactyl. I love it. Oh, that's awesome, Batman. How did you manage to score a first edition card? Ask about the burbs injuries. So, being a healer, I assume you're the one that treated this little fellow's wounds? You got that right, youngster. I found the poor thing while taking a hike in the nearby forest that not that long ago. Left me wondering what happened, since there were no pterosaurs in the vicinity of the village for some time now. I see. At least all's well that ends well, right? For him, maybe. For me, not really. While I was out, fully focused on uh, treating his wounds, someone had broken into my house and stole my precious family heirloom. Oh no. I've been in the business for long. You seem to know your thing. Many different things, in fact. Are you in the business for long? Long? Ha! Huh. Ever since I was a little hatchling, I saw my late father's work, who was a brilliant alchemist. You can say I owe most of my skills to him. Ha, huh, alrighty. So it's like a family business, right? Well, kinda. If you mean the healing skills, then no. My father was just an alchemist. I learned most of the medical stuff from the books or by taking courses from the previous village healer. Besides, there's still much I need to learn, especially in the brewing field. I believe the pharmacy owner has a much superior skill than I do. There's a pharmacy. Interesting. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, Batman. Well, you'll get it. You'll get it. What do you call a fat dino? A perodactyl? Oh. These are terrible yet wonderful. Keep them coming. I, I enjoy good dad bad jokes. Oh. I'm jealous, Avian. I'm jealous. I rarely get shinies in uh, in Pokemon Go. Granted, I'm I 
I apologize to anybody that is a friend with me on Pokemon Go. I tend to drop off the face of the planet in winter because we can't go on Poke Walks. So I, I tend not to play Pokemon Go in the winter because we can't walk around and do stuff, which is unfortunate. I miss playing it. But in summer, I'll start play or, uh, in spring, I'll start playing it again. There's even a pharmacy in the village? Yeah, there is. But for the security reasons, you can only enter it with a special pass lately. My friend just has too much valuable merch inside to risk losing any of it, you know? No worries, I understand. But where's that pharmacy located? Residential district, I'm betting. Ah, right, I keep forgetting you're a newbie. It's in the cool shade street just before the plaza. Can you say anything more about the theft? Hmm, there isn't much I can add. My precious decorative skull. Oh, when I get my hands on that stinking thief. Gonna regret the day he hatched, that's for sure. Ugh. I just wish the chief and our security team would put a little bit more effort towards the investigation. Hmm. Have you tried speaking with them about it? And, uh, while we're on the subject of... Nah. The guards blindly follow chief's orders. The man himself rarely gets out of his apartment lately which is located on the topmost floor of the residential wall. And that really helps since the entire district is under a security lockdown. Can't enter the building anymore if you're not a resident of the district. Hmm, I was about to ask about that. And yeah, I already heard about the residential wall situation from the guard. Ah, so you know how it is. And I totally forgot about today's gathering, so double bummer for me, I guess. We'll be rolling. All right, then I suppose she'll be running along. I should get the you should young sure chores ain't gonna do themselves. Thanks. Get the Pokemon together a lot. Uh, see, I'm jealous. See, we have we have a ton. I'm a 10 minute walk from our downtown. So when we do Poke Walks in summer and spring and when actually whenever the weather is nice, um, there's three gyms and a plethora of polka stops to hit up whenever we take walks. So when the weather is nice, it, it's really, really good for Pokemon Go. The problem is if we can't go out walking downtown because of the weather, <laughs> I, I kind of live in a dry spot. I kind of live in a dry spot of Pokemon. Ooh, okay. This is a new area here. Let's knock on tiny small door. You knock on the door. Yes, do you need anything? Gardening. And what are you doing here, huh? Oh, I'm just looking over my prized little, excuse me, my precious little prized mushrooms. Just look how beautiful they are. I have to be careful as apparently a pesky thief is lurking around the village. What if they get stolen? I can't even imagine it. Who's going to win the next annual Fungilia Mushroom Festival? Oh, if only I had the elusive white one. My chances of winning would skyrocket. Hmm, for sure, but you're the expert here. But can't you just store them safely inside for the time being? Oh no, I couldn't possibly do that. Who would admire my precious mushrooms if they were hidden inside? Safety first, alright. Oh dear game has you hooked. Yeah, a little bit of Zulio. More of, I just want to beat the game. I don't want to start new games without uh, without beating previous ones. So, Abe, how about playing Unhatch next time, huh? Oh, uh, but I don't know how to play that one. Dude, really? Man, you're so behind when it comes to board games. That's cute. I want to pick up that pebble, but it's not interactive. But yeah, I mean, I am enjoying this game. I also just want to roll credits on it. Because that's kind of the... That's the new goal of the Adventure Network, is we're going to try and not start many new games unless we roll credits on the ones we're currently playing. I love how he's walking through his uh, window here. <laughs> She's getting more and more exasperated. You approach the Unicef of Paris. However, he keeps on marching like nothing's happening. 
for hello? Finally turns his head your way, still trotting back and forth. No entry. Shh. Rude. Beyond this point. <laughs> Unless you have. Oh my lord, this is funny. A special pass. Um, a special pass, thanks. Guess I should be going now. Yeah, what a little rude dino. No problem. Please. <laughs> I love this expression. Have a... Nice day. <laughs> Young miss. Seriously? Seriously? Oh, they are very much milking this joke. Uh, either he can't stop walking or he's very passionate about his garden job. That's so funny. Alright, do you have anything useful to tell me? Good gracious, what happened to you, man? You look like you haven't slept in ages. I I've been working for three night shifts in a row. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but the night in your shift is long over. Can't you get the sack right now? I can't. My wife sent me to guard our home from the thieves. Marvelous. Beans! So many beans! Beans, beans, beans! And these are Thanksgiving beans because they are cranberry flavored. Enjoy the cranberry beans. Alright, so that must be where the pharmacy is. You're adorable. What are you? Alright, why did carnivorous dinosaurs eat raw meat? Because they didn't know how to barbecue. Uh-huh. Oh, that's good, RT. That's good. Welcome on in, welcome on in, and thank you for those five kibble, kibble biddies and the wonderful dad joke. We're getting a lot of those today. I approve. I approve of all the dad jokes. Uh, nothing? You're blocking the light. I can barely read it. How am I supposed to appreciate this comic book with you around here? Relax, jeez. This is not a relaxed matter. Poor and insuff insufficient lighting can be a major safety hazard. My eyes may feel strained and... It can even deteriorate my vision, it can cause my vision to deteriorate and get worse over time. And what if I get a headache? My, my, my day would be totally ruined. Do you even realize how many problems you're causing just by standing here? Wow, kid. Er, the only thing I'm realizing is the need to leave this village as soon as possible. Maybe eat something too. Besides, if you're so worried about your eyesight and lack of light, why are you sitting in the shadows? Because I was tasked by our glorious chief to guard the water fountain and be on the lookout for any suspicious individuals which may pass by here and possibly drink from the fountain. So, in other words, I'm on a very secret mission. And your very presence might thwart my master plan of capturing the dastardly thief. What is wrong with all of these people? One more word and... One more word and... Huh? What are you reading? This is the newest issue of the highly renowned comic book series, Zaro Force. I believe you wouldn't get it because... Hey, is that the issue with the mind-controlling meteorite? Er, uh, yes, but that actually... An astro, vastly outnumbered by Arco's henchmen, decides to retrieve the meteorite? Yes, but please, close your mouth, because I'm still in the middle of this is... And then, boom, bang, they single-handedly deal with all the guards and witness Arco doing the ritual of... Oh my god, I love using it. No! Well, thanks a whole bunch for spoiling the ending. I will definitely won't enjoy reading this. <laughs> Relax, bro. It's like, it's not the newest issue anyway. It's like three months old. Your village is really behind the schedule, you know. Not listening to you. Well, suit yourself. Glad I could be of an assistance. Doodles! That was great. I feel a little guilty now. I wouldn't. You can have the stinking comic if you want. See if I care. Hmm. Oh, he's unhappy. <laughs> and he throws it at me. Oh, huh? 
I'll take it. <laughs> well, he said you could take it, so... Crap, he has spicy cookies, let it be known. Heck, yes, I have spicy cookies. Actually, that's a cookie I've never tried making as chocolate chili cookies. I've always wanted to make uh, chocolate chili cookies. Alright, so... Residential Wall Alley. You can't get in there. Gilia Plaza. Full Shade Street. Okay. Alright, we've been here before, though. Wasn't there a door back here we needed a password for? I'm pretty sure there was. Knock on the door. Yeah, you wanted a password and we don't have it yet. Do you have the pass? Um. Alright, so yeah, we still need a password. Potato salad. You know what's funny, Kindle Snowtail? That that line of thinking actually makes sense to me. I'm glad I did my grocery shopping yesterday, though. Freaking twelve dollars worth of herbs for the turkey, but it's worth it. It's funny, actually. I spend as much money on the herbs for the turkey as I did the turkey itself. Go figure, right? I got the turkey at fifty-nine cents a pound. And then I spent $12 in herbs. And yes, we do have a 14 pound turkey for tomorrow. Because I'm insane. <laughs> Alright, can I talk to you? I don't think I actually talked to you. I think I just left last time. Hello, and welcome to my used wear shop. Achoo! If you find anything interesting, please, please give me. Achoo! A shout. Those situations simply left you speechless. Now, what, now that's what you call a professional shopkeeper. So I'm thinking we're going to need that pickaxe and rope here. <laughs> the schedule actually allows me to get them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds about right. Bring my majestic beauty in the sharp focus, but look at this. Nothing but junk. What am I supposed to wear? A rusty frying pan? Your pretentious. Would suit your attitude, that's for sure. Oh, I've only wasted my time here. Oh, and if I get sick too, you're totally going to regret it. Sorry, ma'am. Please. Oh. I actually feel sorry for that guy now. Yeah, she's not very nice. Can I take the rope? That that's uh 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 <coughs> oh. doesn't seem he's ready to sell you anything now. Okay, so we've gotta cure him before he'll sell me stuff. <coughs> yeah, it is a Karenosaurus, isn't it? We're not having turkey dinner for Cornish game head, everybody gets their own verb. You know what, Kindle Snowtail? That's not. And mine's in a volley. Oh my god. Uh, but no, I was gonna say, you know what? It, it's. There's absolutely nothing wrong with doing Cornish hens for, for Thanksgiving. I've done that before too, when it was just Zero Wolf and I. Because there's no reason to cook a big dinner when it's just the two of us. And game hens are delicious. Now, are you going to cook them, like, normal, or are you going to spatchcock them and then cook them flat? Because we like doing, when we do, uh, excuse me, when we do Cornish hens, um, I like splitting them and doing the whole spatchcock thing where you make them, like, flat burbs, and then you sear them and bake them. Oh, they're so, so good. 
Hey, welcome on in, Scar Maestro. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? I'm talking about random cooking things and being able to use the word spatchcock. Because it is a real word, and I love saying it. Hey, Alem. Well, met again. Zinnif? How fair is things? Zinnif. And, hey. Um... How long have you been a resident of Fingelia? I can tell you I've been here for quite a long time. Blah, 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 blah. I want one of your mushrooms. Nice, nice, Kindle Snowtail. But yeah, man, I haven't had, I haven't made game hens in a long time. And I think that's because we've just been buying the big fryer chickens and splitting those and then roasting them. It's a little easier than doing two individual game hens. Um, okay, so we... We are wandering around in circles now. I need to focus. <laughs> I need to focus. Mushroom crossing. I don't know if we ever explored the northern path here. I don't know if we ever went up here. Let's go explore this really quick. I'm a, oh, gotcha, gotcha, Scarbine. Hey, well, there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with vegetarian. And there's many delicious things you can do vegetarian, too. Yeah. Well, and that's that's not a that's not a bad idea, Kindle. It really isn't. Hmm. I don't think I can grab that mushroom. I think I'm too not tall. Mushrooms out of reach. You can do something about these boulders. Well, I could probably pickaxe them. Vegetarian herself used to be vegan. She's mad eggs by the experience. Well, that's fair. That's fair, Azulio. And hey, there's nothing. Sorry, brain is derailing. I respect anyone who does like vegetarian, vegan, octotavian, pluscatarian, any of that. I respect that. Yeah, welcome on in, Swordma. Hopefully I said that correctly. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Welcome to the craziness, and thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Musies. You will find over a very serious station here. There's never shenanigans, but we do have lots of cookies. A disturbing amount of cookies. Good, are you? I'm doing very well today. It's a, it's a very another good. <laughs> it's a very another good day today. There's your there's your English for crafty today. It's a very good well day thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Kindle, exactly. Hey, welcome on in, Henge. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? I'm not quite sure what we're supposed to be doing right now. I don't think I can buy the mushrooms. Oh, I guess I can buy the mushrooms. Uh, what are these? Oh, those? Decorative glowing mushrooms. They're too dim to be used as light stores, but are great for ornaments. Thanks, but no thanks. A bit too much for my decorative taste. What about these? Oh, right. What are these? Glowing mushrooms. Duh. You use them as a reliable light source. You never know when you're going to need one. I don't feel like walking around with a strange glowing mushroom in my backpack. Alright, so the only thing I can still buy here... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Dark rocks. What's the point in selling these? You can just go outside the village and gather heaps of them. Alright, so, sack. What's in the sack? Personally, you'd feel ashamed if you showed something as old and ragged as this in public. Roll. Old piece of paper might belong to an elder at one point. It's all rolled up. Ooh, let's see if I can buy that. Excuse me. What's that piece of paper over there? 
this? It's a scroll with some kind of lullaby. You want or ah, uh, you want it or what? It might not be extremely exciting for you, but for your younger siblings, nah, not really. Hmm, that might be important later. The only thing I can buy is the backpack. Ooh, that's good, Henge. Hopefully they'll work for you. And yes, I will save my game. We haven't saved in a while. Also, thank you for that follow of Fox Guy, and welcome to the music. You will find that we're so serious here. There's never shenanigans, but plenty of cookies. Can I grab some berries? Wow, that's something. You even have fresh berries here as well? Sure do, young miss, and only five shells for a single berry. Sure. All right, pack it up. I'll take it. Here, thanks. Go and enjoy. Fire berry, and an enemies, herbs, plant mush. Oh, and what is this? Oh, that's some truly good food. A tasty, nutritious plant salad, and only... Herb. No thanks, it doesn't look very appetizing. Um, we're gonna buy some of everything he has. Because I have a feeling we're gonna need these for the herbalist. You guys need to have the work in 10 minutes. Oof, no fun. But I do, I do recommend coffee. I do recommend coffee. Sure. There's gotta be a reason that it's letting us buy all of this. Grab the herbs. I think I might have seen this plant before. What kind of herb is this? Medical herbs? Ah! Only 10 shells. I'll take it. Sweet. All right. So I think we got the stuff that the the herbalist is going to need. So let's see if we can find the herbalist. This was not the right direction. We need to go to the Western District, I believe. But yeah, I'm thinking after the coffee, I might hit up some, some sneak or something. I'm not waking up today with coffee. It's kind of a cold, overcast day today. Uh, what is this game exactly? All right, Henge. This is, and actually we're on day two of this. We played this one yesterday, too. Uh, this game is called Zenith Adventure, and it is a retro-inspired point-and-click adventure that I was actually lucky enough that the devs reached out to me and said, hey, we see that you like point-and-click adventures. Do you want to try ours? So I said, yes, please. It's point-and-click. Of course I will play with it. So there is the link to the Steam page if you're interested. It is not that expensive. The game is only nine bucks, and it is well worth nine bucks. And I expect that it will be going on sale. And the best part is, there's a sequel to this coming out. I don't know when. There's no release date yet. But uh, there will be a sequel to this, which is awesome. And thank you for that, Ho Sinful. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Huh? What do you need? Um. Oh, what do you need? Uh, okay. Maybe if I give her herbs? Grab herb, give to her. Aha! Yo, doctor, think you could turn this herb of mine into some kind of cold, common cold medicine, please? Oh, come on. A common cold cough syrup is a no-brainer. I thought you'd give me a better challenge. Hold on for a moment, please. Sweet! Uh, just watching on YouTube by a forest. We are on quest waiting for apps to update. Oh, fun! Fun, a fox guy! I didn't know Firefox had VR. That's kind of awesome, though. Off Edric is Raven's Brew. Oh. That sounds delicious. That sounds absolutely delicious, Kindle. Ooh, and what is your fursona, Henge? What is your fursona? Tell me, tell me, tell me, because that is awesome. That is very cool. I would love to see it. All right, here you go. A cold remedy works wonders for the sick and fragile, but please return the bowl as I'm a bit short on them. Wow, that was fast. Thanks much. Just a no- Ah, gotcha, gotcha, Henge. 
What is, what species is your OC? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I am curious. I wonder if she can do anything with the berry. Okay, I can't do anything with those, but what can we do with the... <laughs> I love the question mark. All right, well, let's go heal up the other guy and buy a rope and a pickaxe. And <laughs> what's up, Ark? What is up? Arc of the Bat Persuasion. I love your face, that's all. Aww. Well, thank you for that, Arc. I love your face as well. I love everybody's face out there in chat. You all are amazing, amazing hecking beans. And you all need to just continue being awesome. One thing I really, really love about doing this is that I always end stream with a big old face cracking grin on my face and it is wonderful. All right, so let's give him medicine. He's a wolf folk and he's got been my world for the first affliction, so she, oh, nice. A serpentine behemoth werewolf, ooh. Do you have any art of them yet, Henge? Do you have any art of her? Because I would love to see that. That would be awesome. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. Crafty. I'm the big sleepy today, but had to come in and show my support and love. Happy 13 months, and I need to poke you sooner by visiting your AC Ireland. Getting you back on my friends list and get that art void also. Get in the scrim doggo pokeball. Aww. <laughs> well, of course, sinful. Hit me up anytime, except for tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to be a bit busy with cooking a turkey. But no, I am I am always, always available. And yes, I do still have that Arfoy for you, because, oh my god, the thing is adorable. But thank you, thank you for continuing that that sub for 13 heckin' months. I can't believe it's been that long. That's insane that it's been that long. But yeah, I'm, I'm sorry you have the sleepies, though. I think you need up need to hit up some of that caffeine. Oh dear. What are you doing, chat? Do what are you doing? Oh lord, that's what I was afraid of. What are you doing? Game, focus. No, no hype trains. No. I do not need to cry on stream again. No. I I refuse. Focus on game. Uh huh. What's this? thing that'll make you better. Come on, bottoms up. Okay, okay. I can't even talk anymore. Gulp. <laughs> One thing's for sure. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> and yeah, real is appropriate for dinosaurs. Real is appropriate. And real hasn't been out since Subnautica. And yes, the interns have risen up. <laughs> Alright, well let, let us continue our dinosaur adventure so we get this done today. <laughs> Is it, can you see my tail? No, it's just my fin that you can see. I was trying to figure out what was behind my character, and it's just the fin. Alright, uh, but thanks for your help. Hopefully it starts working after just one, one dose. Can I buy stuff now? <laughs> And he sneezes again. Hey! He's Bator! He looks much better already. The healer sure can do some wonders. All right. All right. Uh, are you interested in that piece of rope? It can be yours for just 20 shells. I'll take it. I draw him hanging out with Roy. Heck yeah, hen. Or heck yeah, Roy. Wonderful purchase indeed. Just remember, I'm not doing any refunds. That's fine. I'm gonna buy that pickaxe. All right, fine pickaxe, only 40 shells. I will take it. Oh, no worries, Arctic, no worries. You have a good day at work and do not work too hard. Do not work too hard. Oh no, I don't have enough money. Okay, so we need to go make money. Cause we need that, uh, we need that frying pan for something. I don't know why we need it, but we need it. We need it because I think we need it. <laughs> 